Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and true to my word, I did pull out a bunch of my new brand new Taylor Expressions dies and play with them this week and I created my very first ever pocket scrapbook layout and I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I don't know, it took me a long time just because it was my first page and because like I told you in the other video, I didn't want to do more of pocket scrapping. I wanted to do like, tra like traditional scrapbooking with the pockets so you can put more pictures and then, um, I don't know, I just wanted to combine the two. So I put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into it and like I tried to step it up a little bit for each of the different pockets. So it took a while but it was really fun and I'm excited to try my other dies out that I didn't even get to try yet. So um, this is the whole layout. Um, I went to Disney with my sister, my brother-in-law, and my niece last year. Um, the end of March to the beginning of April, and we, this is, I decided to start with this one just because I thought it would be easy to start here. Um, I have a couple pages that I'm going to have to go back and do before this, and a bunch of pages that I'm going to have to do after this because um, this wasn't the first day that we were down there. We left Friday morning at like 4 in the morning, and we got there at like 2 in the morning, Saturday night, or Saturday morning, um, and then Saturday we kind of relaxed and we went to, um, I forget the name of it, but it wasn't one of the parks, but Downtown Disney. We went to Downtown Disney for the day, and then on Sunday, which was Easter Sunday, we went to Animal Kingdom, and right away, right when we got there, I think it was like 8.30 or 9 o'clock, we had breakfast at the Tusker House, so, um, that was the first thing that we did when we got there, so... I thought this would be a good place to start. So I'm going to zoom you in and I'm going to focus on one page and just show you the different parts. Maybe I won't zoom in. Okay, so um, everything, all the papers and everything, all the embellishments were using either the Say Cheese Simple Stories line or the Project Mouse line that you can find online and I can link to their shop. Um, but you can buy a bunch of different cards. So, like, these ones are for character greetings. So, character greetings. They've got food, different restaurant cards. Um, they've got quote cards. So, we'll be using that one in a page. Um, they've just got a lot of different quote ones. They've got princess ones. They've got 4 by 6 ones. They've got planning stages ones. They've got the journey ones, they've got we're here ones, they've got fireworks, they've got fantasy, they've got a cruise, they've got lots of different lines. So um, I used the character one, the food one, and I think maybe just either the basics or the quote one. I can't remember the last one that I used, but I only used a couple of them this time. So um, I used the 4x6 and the 3x4 page here, and in the corner I also bought the um, the papers, so let me show you really quickly. If you buy the basics paper pack, you can get all of the papers too. So there's papers that coordinate with their cards. So I did that, and all of my background papers are from those coordinating papers. So I used the blue background paper, and I used my Taylor Expressions 3x4 die for this one. And I cut out the background with the large die and the journal card with the inside die and then I used some washi tape up here and then I used a 3x4 picture well I cut my niece out into a 3x4 picture and I used the Taylor Expressions Packs and Pages XOXO here in the yellow card stock and I just put her behind that she's so cute I love her um, and then here's my title card we were dining at the Tusker house it was March 31st and it was in the morning I can't remember the time exactly and I used these sweet and simple upper and lower alphas. So here's the upper die, and then here's the lower die. And this alphabet matches the number set that I am going to be giving away in another video. So um, this is the matching alphabet for that number set. And so I cut out Tusker House using that in the red, and then I put a hashtag up here from the 4x4 set and put best breakfast ever because it was literally my favorite meal there. They had the best breakfast I've ever eaten. I loved it. Um, and then going down um, at the Tusker House, it was a character dining, so they had 
Donald on the outside, and he didn't he didn't do an autograph, he just took a picture. On the inside they had Daisy, Goofy, and Mickey. So here's a picture of my sister and my brother-in-law with Daisy, and I just used some purple washi tape to um, decorate it, and I matched her eyeshadow. And then I put some polka dot pack paper in the background, same paper pack. And then down here, oh, I'll move over here, I'm sorry. So this was the outside. The outside you got to take a picture with Donald and I used one of the Simple Stories Yummy stickers here and I cut this out, both of these pictures out with the 4x6 inner frame. So I used the inside frame to cut out the picture and then I used the outside frame to cut out the pattern paper so that I could have a layering mat. And I used the same paper pack here, this chevron in the background. And then down here is a picture of Mickey and me um, and I did the same thing with the matting here and then I did this background paper with the same paper. And then I used the Stampin' Up! chevron border punch to make these um, chevrons, just to give it a little something. And then I stamped Good Times in white, or in verse mark using white embossing powder. And that is from the Paper Tray Ink A Few Pointers stamp set. So you, where is it? Good Times, right there. So I stamped Good on one and then Times on the other one. And then this is a free project mouse card that you can get from one of the ladies blogs who designed um, project mouse and they have silhouettes of all the characters so they've got all the characters here Goofy, Chippendale, Pluto, Minnie um, they've got the princesses I'm excited to use the princess ones I'm excited to scrapbook the princess pages and then they've got a couple extra characters like Alice and Peter Pan and the rabbit. Um, so that was that and that was a freebie from their blog. And I cut it out using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Journaling card. So you can kind of see that it's in the corner. And then this Mouse in the House is from the character edition from Project Mouse. And then the background is the paper pack. So I used the 3x4 again to do the frame. And the... Um, not the frame, to, to cut this out and then to cut the outside out. And then down here, excited about this, I stamped that from, again, a few pointers by Paper Tray Ink, and then I cut it out using the die, the included die, or the matching die, I'm sorry. And that is that page. And then this page um, is the 6x8 and then the 4x6s. And up here is a picture of my niece, my sister, and my brother-in-law, and then Goofy. And I used the 4x6 dies to cut out the picture in the mat again that's the same paper pack and then I use Stampin' Ups these are the word bubbles framelits to cut out this word bubble and vellum here and you can kinda see that she's like looking at his nose so I said look at that nose cause you know Goofy's got a big nose so it looks like she's like staring at it here so I wrote that um, and then down here is just my journaling card this is from the food Project Mouse Collection, 4x6, I printed that out and I just wrote little journaling on it. And then down here is a picture of Goofy and me. Um, this is from the Simple Stories stickers, the Say Cheese stickers. Again, I did the outside and the inside with the 4x6 cards from Taylor Expressions. Um, down here, I obviously didn't have any of this stuff when I went to Disney, but they do have Project Mouse autograph cards. They have like blank cards where you can have the characters autograph and then you can just use those right in your pocket scrapbooking pages but obviously since I didn't have those when I went I came up with a different solution because I thought it would be cute to include their signatures on the page so I took my autograph book that we had gotten in Disney and I took a picture of all the signatures oops sorry I took a picture of the signatures I put them in my word document and then I I printed them out and they're kind of hard to see on camera, but you know you can see them a little better in person. But then I used the Taylor Expressions 2x2 two two die to cut out, and I used the outside one. So these are 2x2 two two squares down here. So you have Daisy and Goofy. And then this one, Mickey Mouse's signature was just too long to put in anything, so I just cut it out on my trimmer and then rounded the corners with my Stampin' Up! Project Life Corner Rounder. And then these chevrons right here, I cut out using a glitter paper. I don't know the name of the glitter paper. I think it was just a, um, no, it was one of the die cuts with a view, like glimmer stacks. 
But I cut those out also using the 2x2. Two two. So these right here. And I put five on each side. And then I thought it looked kind of boring, but I didn't want to go with the chevrons all the way up and down the side because it looked stupid. Or it didn't look stupid, but I didn't like it. So I wanted to put like a little something else. So I used the Stampin' Up! Heart Punch, which is actually retiring. Um, but I wanted to put like a little something. So I cut it out in red glimmer paper. And this is from uh, the Walmart brand. It was from a Walmart pack. Um, and I just put all three there. Just to give it a little something extra. And then up top here is my 6x8 layout. And this is a picture of my niece with Mickey. And she loves Mickey. She had been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse for like two years before we even went. That's a lie. For like a year, a year and a half maybe. Um, yeah, because she was, she was only two and a half when we went. Um, she was almost three when we went. But um, So she had been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and she loved Mickey Mouse. So she was really excited to see him. So um, this background card is a 6x8 card from the simple story so I just cut that out and then I used again the Project Life corner rounder to round the edges um, the balloons were part of the paper and this is part of the paper but I stamped this heart this from the paper tray ink February monthly moment stamp set and I stamped it in um, Riding Hood Ride from Stampin' Up! which is retired but I thought it matched pretty well this arrow right here is from my style stamps love captured I just stamped it in memento and then down here I stamped this heart border three times that's also from love captured right there stamped it three times and he embossed it with white embossing powder and then the love that I stamped in the middle is from the February monthly moments stamp set so that's all the stamping I did down here and then this circle was sweet inside of it I know you're not gonna be able to see it in the page but I put um, Minko Stella on it and then I put glossy accents over it to give it a little something and you can't see it at all on camera but that was cut using the tailored expressions circle words so I used the sweet just because it was a little sweet moment like look how cute she is right there and I cut that out from one of the pattern papers from the project mouse pack and then this word bubble right here was one of the 3x4 Project Mouse cards from the character set and I just cut it out because I just wanted the board bubble um, because she recently told me or she recently told us that Mickey Mouse was her favorite character so I thought that was perfect to put coming out of her mouth you are my favorite and then I had punched an extra heart because I thought I might use two of them down here but or two and two but I decided this way so I used the extra heart up here and then I also stamped that um, heart border again using white embossing and I bossed it with white embossing powder, so the same one down there. So, um, I think that's everything. And, yeah. So that was my first layout. And I really had a lot of fun doing it, and I think it turned out pretty good. So, um, look for the next video for my giveaway and to see what the criteria is for entering. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!